I'll admit, choosing the right gift for a girl is a really hard thing to do and it's actually an art that requires a lot of practice. And giving the right gift is something that I failed at very many times in the past. I failed with all sorts of gifts like clothes, oh, size 3, what do you think I'm fat? Snacks, oh, Cheetos, are you trying to make me fat? Exercise stuff, oh, you jerk, you really think I'm fat? So after failing so many times, I've come up with some real key pointers that you guys can follow to get some really great gifts for those girls in your lives. So the next time you're looking for a gift, the three things you have to remember to incorporate are thoughtfulness, uselessness, and size. If you think about some of the things that girls really like, things like puppies, jewelry, or makeup, you'll realize that most of these things are small and useless. So if you can leverage that in a way that says, I'm thinking about you, then you've got a perfect gift in the making. <laughs> Supplies. The first thing to consider when choosing the perfect gift is how much thought it appears you put into it. If you were to plot the perceived thoughtfulness, then the amount the girl likes the gift on a graph. On the left, you would have the low thought, low light gifts. Things like mittens, a pencil case, or a Hallmark card. On the other side, you have high thoughtfulness gifts, which translate to high like, such as tickets to that thing she likes, or that thing she really wanted that you remember that she wanted. In general, the more thoughtfulness the better, but be sure not to exceed the thoughtfulness creeper point. Basically by getting her something that you know she needs, but she hasn't told you she needs or she doesn't want from you. Things like pairs of underwear, or tampons. These things, while extremely thoughtful, can only lead to dislike and self-destruction. <laughs> Surprise! The second thing to remember when picking out a gift for a girl is to make sure it's utterly and completely useless. Extremely practical and useful things like tools and electronics generally don't fly well with girls. In fact, the more useful it is and the more essential it is to surviving day-to-day -day life, the less they'll like it as a gift. Think about extremely useful things like a hamburger or a rotary table saw. Both of these are very high in usefulness, so both of these rank very, very low in being good gifts for girls. On the other hand, consider diamonds. You can't eat them, you can't use them for anything. Because of that, they make excellent gifts. What about this useless Hello Kitty doll? Excellent gift! Combine the two and you get... Preposterous gift! Ultimate uselessness! Do 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 Supplies! The last thing you have to consider when getting a gift for a girl is size. And yes, size does matter. And in this case, the smaller the better. That's what she said. Wait a minute. As opposed to getting gifts for guys when it's more like Sweet Cool Awesome Girls are more like Aww Cute Ew Remember, the more useless a thing is, the better And tiny little things tend to be more useless than bigger so ones So remember, the next time you're trying to decide between two equal gifts Always go with the smaller one because the smaller one is always more cute do, 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 do. So then finally, you might ask me then, Frank, knowing this, what do you usually give out as gifts? Well, that is a fantastic question. And I just want to answer that by saying I give out the most thoughtful, the most useless, and not to mention cheap gifts that I can come across. And I actually make handmade cards like this and give them out as gifts. This particular one is for my girlfriend and it's made of cutout paper. So this is me parachuting down with a flower and this is her holding California because she loves California. Other things I've made in the past include a scene from Up, random animals, a Terran Marine, an orc peon, and a bunch of other random things. My point is, you don't have to spend a lot of money to get a really good gift, and it's the thoughtfulness and care that goes into it that counts. So go ahead and tell me in the comments below, what's the best present that you've ever gotten or you've ever given? And if I don't see you guys before Saturday, Merry Christmas. Supplies!